Guys, I bumped an H&M video for this. It's, it's bumped next week, so you know. Hi, hello, my name is Kendra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. We have some controversy today. I've already unbagged them, but need I say more? Today is going to be a review of the Abercrombie & Fitch Curve Love line of denim that they've come out with. I'm gonna be trying all the pairs with this like simple, just black bodysuit. I got this from Stitch Fix. Has anyone else been personally victimized by Abercrombie & Fitch? Me. I think we all have in high school, that's like what all the girls, cool girls wore was Amber Crombie and Fitch graphic shirts. They wore their denim or they wore Hollister denim, but like whatever. I never dreamed of stepping my toe in an Amber Crombie. Like we would walk by in the mall and I would like speed walk because I didn't want to see anybody, right? I've always been big my entire life. I'm traditionally a size 20. I have a 40 inch waist, 50 inch hips. That's just where we're at right now, right? Why would I ever shop at Amber Crombie and Fitch? You know, they've had a spotty past. Not gonna get into it. We all know, we all were there, <laughs> okay? And if you weren't, Google is free. When I saw this all over the internet, everyone jumping on this Amber Crummy bandwagon, I was skeptical, okay? I just like, you don't wanna be disappointed. You know, you don't wanna get excited that, oh my gosh, I'm finally being included and then have it not fit, right? So I was skeptical, but at the same time, I don't believe in like blacklisting these brands because what we're preaching for and screaming for is for them to be inclusive, to expand their size ranges, to stop being so damn prejudiced to people. So if we don't give these brands an opportunity to grow, to evolve, just like people, we're never gonna get anywhere. We're just hoping for new companies to come out of the woodwork. It's so much harder to establish a brand in today's market. So I am giving them the benefit of the doubt. I bought the denim. It's all super expensive. It's all like 89, 90, 110 dollars. Don't know if people in high school were buying denim that this that was this expensive. I'm confused, but <laughs> whatever. It was pretty expensive. I didn't have a coupon. I know they run jean sales, but because this is new, hot, and people are finding out about it, I wanted to get in and get my sizes. I didn't want to wait around for a sale. You never know when things are gonna sell out. I really hope that these things will come back in stock. If they're good, we shall see. So just so you guys know, I got everything in size. 36. I want to say they went up to a 37 and 36 just looked like it matched my measurements the best and I kind of gave myself a few inches above just because I didn't want to be sucked in or have them not fit which would have been way worse. So that's what I did. Got a 36. Let's see how it goes. I got all different styles though so we could try a variety in the same size and see if it's consistent among the different styles of jeans. Now, first pair of denim that we got here, these are the Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise 36. It says 22 regular. I believe that's the inseam. I got regular. They did have short, regular, and long, and they were $89. $89. And as I said, they are 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So that means that these jeans have little to no stretch. Do the leg stretch test here. There's a tiny bit of give, but they're very stiff. They feel like true denim. So let's see. I'm gonna do this on camera because I feel like I wanna know if I have to lay down and do it, you know? I want you to know if this is like an uncomfortable experience or if they come on like regular jeans do, right? So let's see. I will pan down so you can see the full view of them. This is the moment of truth, right? Honestly, they went up pretty well. Now it's time to see. Oh yeah. It was like a slight suck in, but once they're on, they feel fine. Oh, great. And as I said, these are the ankle straight ultra high rise. So they're saying these are ultra high. They come pretty much to where I want them to hit. Like maybe like in half an inch lower, but it's pretty good. There is a little bit of a gap in the back. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, we are having a little bit of gapping, but nothing bad. Like it kind of sits against the body unless you pull it. That's what the bum looks like. They're nice, light wash. Let's pan down. This is how they look. As you guys know, I'm not huge on a super skinny ankle, so these are perfect. They kind of just flare out just ever so slightly. I think the color is really nice. They're hitting me at a good length for the regular inseam. I am five foot eight, so like take that as you will. And I do prefer my jeans to kind of skim my ankle. I don't like them to go all the way down because I usually, you know, if I'm wearing jeans, I'll wear a little sandal or sneaker or something. These are great. Like I'm very, very surprised with how these are looking, how they feel. Let's do a squat test. 
there's quite a bit of movement in them to be honest I don't feel like I'm gonna like bust through them. I'm so surprised. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so I guess on one hand, it's like, did I expect it to be bad? Yes. But I'm pleasantly surprised that they're not bad. I wouldn't say that they're like my absolute favorite just because I think I would like a little bit darker of a color, but I did get a couple pairs that are a little bit darker, but the fit feels really good. I love the ankle. I feel like these are a good pair of jeans. They are $89. That's kind of a personal preference. If you're willing to spend that much on denim, kind of up to you. So overwhelmed, but underwhelmed. Like I don't have much to say because they fit well. <laughs> You know, like if something doesn't work, you have so much to say on why it doesn't work, but if it works, you just know that it works. <laughs> Does that make sense? So this is the first pair, tell me what you think. Okay, so I guess I did get two pairs that were the same. They're just a different wash because these are the same as the last ones. They're the ankle straight ultra high rise in a 36 regular, which is a 22 inch inseam. These also only have 1% elastane and I like them. Like. These ones are just a tad bit darker. They went on the exact same way. They felt good coming up. This is what the ankle looks like. Kind of just skims, you can barely see it. It just kind of skims my ankle there. And then these ones do have a frayed ankle, which I don't mind. I like it. I think I said, I like the wash of these better. Like I think it's just a bit more flattering. Not that flattering matters. It's just a lighter wash denim, kind of more heavily pronounces your belly line. And I do have one of those. I'm a size 20, so this is where I keep my weight. 50 inch hips down here, so that's just to be expected. And I think this color does a little bit better things for my body. This one also, not too much of a butt gap on these. I would say less of a butt gap than on the last ones, which is interesting. And this is what the bottom looks like. Not my best. My butt is not like such an amazing shape or anything, but yeah, this is the same style. And this was the one that I was hoping for good things for because I really, I enjoy a straight leg denim. So I was hoping that these ones would fit and be cute and I think they are. Also $89, ouch. So this third pair, I got a black denim, but it's black distress. This is Curve Love brand as well. They're all the Curve Love, but they are the skinny high rise. Now, I don't love a skinny jean. However, skinny jeans usually have more elastane, they're more readily available, and they're more often made in plus sizes. <laughs> a lot of the jeans I end up having are skinny jeans just because that's what the people give me, okay? But these are kind of a distressed black wash and they have pretty sizable holes in the knees. I did not put my foot through this, just so you know, that's what it just came looking like. These are $99, which is still pretty expensive. And again, 1% elastane, so. maybe I almost did put my foot through it. So I think they're gonna fit already. I haven't even got them up. They're tight on my calves. Isn't that weird? Zip went up pretty decently. These are not ultra high rise, they're just high rise and I definitely feel that they are lower than the other ones, but they went up fine and they're black. So I feel like pretty flattering through the tummy area. The butt bottom. You know, black jeans just do something for the bottom now, don't they? These jeans have like other holes. Like I feel like usually, yes, they're distressing, but not just straight up holes like this has. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's a bit much. And this is what the ankles look like. What I was saying as I was putting them on, these, the calves of these are pretty tight. Like I feel like they're not actually, like I don't feel super tight in my thighs, but my calves right now feel like they are, <sighs> gonna bust through, but maybe that's just the nature of a skinny jean and I, obviously it's not my favorite style. So this is what these look like. The bottoms are frayed, definitely severe rips in the knees. I feel like these are for a different person. If you can kind of see my surroundings, my background, these just don't feel like me. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to get this color correct. They're like a wash black. They're not like a true, true black. I'm gonna squat. I'm afraid to rip these knees more. I can squat, they're definitely stiff, but they're not so stiff that I don't, feel like you move, sit, breathe. I don't know if I would keep these just because I don't see myself wearing them with all of this distressing and the calf feeling is like annoying me because since they're frayed, I don't think they even look that skinny, but they feel skinny and I don't like that. <laughs> Let me know, do you guys like these? Is this more of your style? I think I'm more of the ankle straight style myself. All right guys, these are also in size 36. These are the mom high rise, not ultra high rise, just high rise. They have this like acid wash, Print. They weren't hard to get on. And now for the easy button. Beautiful. This That is really one thing that's nice. Their size chart was very accurate because the last pair I have to try on you guys, as you saw with all, all the others, they were not hard to get on. I didn't have to lay down. didn't have to like 
do anything crazy or anything crazy jumping to get them on. These don't feel very different from the ankle straight. They fray out at the bottom, so they're more of like an ankle straight. I feel like mom jeans usually aren't very flattering on your butt, but as I said, my butt doesn't look great in many jeans. I don't know. What do you guys think? My butt's my butt. But yeah, these are them. And a lighter wash through the thigh. A little bit of acid washing up here at the waistband. Not much of a, not at all, actually, a butt gap on these. Again, when jeans are good, there's not much to say. And I think all three of, all four of these fit pretty decently. I don't have like a ton to say. I, the only ones that were like a little funky were the black and it was through the calf, but it's like they were skinny jeans. So like they're probably supposed to be tight there and I'm just like not used to it. Gym squat, they feel good. They look decent. I don't think I'd keep them on. If anything, I would just keep the two ankle straights because like I like those a little bit better and I like those a little bit better coloring wise. But like other than that, they're all pretty similar and the sizing is consistent. All right, so these are my final thoughts. I feel like they did a good job keeping the sizing consistent among all the different styles. I tried out three styles. I thought it was gonna be four, but two of them I did get in the same style, just different colors. But the sizing was the same pretty much throughout from the skinny to the mom to the ankle straight which I feel like are the main categories at the moment. I wanted to get the wide, but they were totally sold out. They had these like flare crop flares that looked really cool. I'll leave them linked down the below. Hopefully they'll come back in stock, but they were sold out when I ordered. I'll leave the links down below for everything guys. I don't know, like they feel good and they feel like good quality denim. I think that's the one thing. Like I have a lot more options now as a plus size person for denim, but not for like true denim. I feel like I can get a lot of like stretchy denim and all that kind of stuff, but 99% cotton, not a ton of options. I do feel like, I've heard other people say differently, but I feel like they put some thought into the construction because where I usually have problems, if they get my waist measurements correctly, length, my thighs fit, it's always in my gut. And I feel like there's plenty of room in these jeans for my gut. So I don't know. I think that they did a decent job. Am I going to be an avid Amber Crombie shopper? No. And here's one of the reasons, because when I did the order to, you know, do this video, they still did not have more than an XL, even a large on a lot of stuff in their other clothing, in their tops, blouses, skirts, like everything else did not even like, not even an extra, extra large, which I feel like if you're going to add a whole section of Curve Love denim, which is catering to, I believe it went up to a size 37. So size 22, it might have even gone to a 38. I'll leave the information down below. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's like, if you're going into the 20s of size ranges, you would think that you would do that in your tops, which is way easier and more simple to do. You had to create a whole new line, cut a fabric, like all this stuff to do <laughs> denim. You could literally just size up the tops one, two more sizes, and that would appease a lot of people. It would at least give the option to get a top with the denim that I'm now buying from you. Do you know what I mean? This bodysuit's not from them. This is from, I got it from a Stitch Fix box. I don't even know what the brand is. So that's all. That was my last two cents, and I will take my soapbox away. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you think about the denim? Would you shop from Abercrombie? Are they on your no-buy list? Let me know down in the comments. And I guess we'll see H&M next week. I have the video like, ready, but like I had to. I was like, let's do this. So yeah, that is it for me today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.